Hi, I'm David Davis from Actual Tech Media. We're here at the headquarters of Tachium, and I'm joined by Mr. Rado Danilik. He's the CEO and co-founder of Tachium. How you doing? Good, how are you? I'm great, I'm great. So we've been talking about some really cool stuff um, that you're doing here at Tachium, and now I specifically wanted to dive into kind of the future of the cloud. Um, and that's really where Tachium's gonna come in and save the day, if you will, because worldwide you know, data centers are consuming an, an enormous amount of power. I heard a statistic, 2% of the power of the, the entire Earth is consumed by data centers, and it's doubling every five years, is what this statistic said and uh, it's it's incredible I mean we have an expectation of the cloud just having this infinite scalability scalability um, and that's not going to happen if they run out of power right if if AWS and Google go down and, and or they they have to increase their prices because they they don't have the power they can't afford the power it, it's just not going to happen the clouds not going to happen so tachium has a solution to this um, and so why don't you first tell us a little bit about the solution that Tachium has created and, and where it's going in the future. What do you see the future of the cloud being? So our solution is cloud chip. We are a semiconductor company uh, building chips which will do the processing in data centers, which has 10 to 15 times lower power than existing solutions. Also, it's a fraction of the cost, four times cheaper. So for example, large scale company like Google, they spent more than $10 billion last year uh, on the data centers, with our technology, they can easily save more than six, potentially seven billion, seven billion dollars every year. So it's, it's also cost reduction. Uh, so we can make the technology lower cost and more ubiqu ubiquitous. However, the impact on the future is much bigger than that. Uh, let me give you a few practical examples. A lot of these days, people are talking about. AR, augmenting reality, you mm -hmm. know. In real time, you know, your software recognizes something, modify the pictures, and you can see that. And the latency is very important because if the lag is too long, people get motion sickness. Then the new media or gaming, uh, where you don't play on your console, but is on the cloud, and you don't need to buy three, three, four hundred dollar console, you're just paying five, ten dollar fee per month, you amortize better cost, requires a low latency. Otherwise, people experience motion sickness. So new media, requires new low latency. Now, existing model, when you have data center in Oregon, when the power is cheap and it's football is big data center, mm -hmm. uh, doesn't work for that because if you need data center for new media in the middle of the San Francisco, first energy is more expensive, land is very difficult to get, and so on. So the fact that we shrink by factor 10 to 15 times the power also allows you shrink space by this huge factor. Mm -hmm. So instead, building huge data center, you can fit decent data centers with uh, up to 100,000 servers in container. Getting permission permit to get the container to place somewhere in the middle of the city is very different than building massive data center. Now, uh, because a lot of uh, media is now consumed over wireless, you know, putting data center on the cell tower itself, you can mount, and if it's small enough, you don't need to buy land or build something around that. You can have data center on the edge, which has much lower latency, and telcos, they can offer new additional services at uh, consuming media, which is very difficult without that technology. So this technology will transform uh, also how the media is consumed. When you have robots, which they need real-time, uh, basically, response, latency is, again, very important. So the compute will move to our edge closer and closer to user and you have to shrink it, reduce the cost and reduce the power because also power is more expensive than the people are living. Mm -hmm. So, so Tachium can help current data centers, which are growing massively, sure. to immediately reduce their costs, to lower their power consumption, so before they hit this wall that's gonna happen, and then help those data center companies, those cloud companies, move data centers closer to the edge to make new technology, technologies like augmented reality possible in the future. Correct. Some very promising stuff. I'm looking forward to seeing what you all do at Tachium. Thank you so much for your time today. Thank you very much for your time.